Chinese ADR went up as much as 7% if you are trading the US market. You've seen that happen across the board. What really happened to the Chinese stocks? On my screen here, Baidu is up about 6% already. We want to investigate what really happened. Will this bring an impact to actually cause the Hong Kong and the China stock market to reverse? This is the news that caused the broad market, the Chinese ADR to move up. But what is more important is the source of the news, meaning that who said that? It's made from China Polyburo. You have to understand the importance of uh, China Polyburo because it is the top decision-making body of the ruling Communist Party. What was said here as a summary is that China will step up macroeconomic adjustment. It will stay focused on expanding domestic demand. It will adjust and optimize properly policies in a timely manner, but it also admits that the economy is facing new difficulties and challenges. Now, the commitment of Polyburo to come out with this statement is very important because if you understand the structure of the Polyburo in the China ruling Communities party, it is the top layer made up of seven very important people. Now, who consists of the Chinese Politburo. First, let's check it out. Okay, first, we have the General Secretary, which is the President Xi Jinping. And then followed by this standing committee that consists of seven members, including Xi Jinping himself. And right now, the total members of this uh, Politburo is 24 members. Okay, and then after that, you still have the Central Committee, you have the National Party Congress, and you have the party members. You see, it's like a pyramid, and the decision came from the Politburo meeting. Okay, that's why the market treated the piece of news as really the core. That means it's the top instruction. How is whatever that's being said going to impact the market? And today we saw it immediately in the movement of Hang Seng Index and Hang Seng Tech. By understanding what moved, I want to investigate whether this movement here is going to be permanent and things you need to look out for. This is Hang Seng Index. I think the only thing that you can say is that you know, for the entire 2023, while the US market have been ramming higher and higher, Hang Seng Index is just retracing lower, coming lower, like a bit of being squeezed, you know. That means that every time that you thought that it's actually going higher, you will come down. Every time that you think that finally there's hope, it will come down, it will trash you and trash you and trash you. But one thing that remains as a fact is that the 18,000, which is this level here, is still a very strong support. No matter what happened, no matter whatever bad news that came out of China or whatever good news that came out of China, is still being supported at 18,000. So this means that if there should be any accumulation, then people are buying right now at 18,000. Now, which, which give us two perspectives here, good and the bad. If 18,000 cannot hold, then this is super bad news for Hang Seng Index. But if 18,000 can hold, then this means that there are a lot of accumulation at this place here, which is 18,000, despite the very bad news that came from China, despite the very bad news from the listed companies, then there are substantial accumulation happening at the 18,000. Right, this brings us to find out why Hang Seng isn't going up. From the technical point of view, then 19,500, which is the red line that I'm marking here, is the immediate resistance. And where is this resistance coming from? And that came from here. Okay, it was one of the historical level, right, which I'm marking here. So this was that resistance at about 19. 500. So two levels for you to remember for Hang Seng before we investigate again that the immediate support at 18,000, the immediate resistance at 19,500. And then what can you do? Now if you are accumulating and if you are thinking of accumulating, then you want to look for price to move down to 18,000, 18,500 again because these would be like a buy zone here. Right, but in any case, today it went up and then we will look forward to see whether there is a breakout of this 19,500. Now, in any case, let's investigate the day chart in terms of chart pattern. There might be a potential 
inverted head and shoulder here so let's switch that into a line chart and this would be the inverted head and shoulder where we have this as a left shoulder so this would be your shoulder this one will be your head and this would be your right shoulder here all in all it points to your neckline as 19,500 have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like I think that Hong Sing tag is a little bit more bullish a bit stronger for the reason that price moves off from the immediate supports. Well, Hang Seng stays very near to the supports, but Hang Seng Tech is right now staying nearer to the resistance. And this is the reason why you find that I'm covering a lot more tech stocks than the other component stocks of Hang Seng. I've covered in this video here on Baidu, on Alibaba, on Tencent. Please remember to watch this video. Right, we have some potential chart pattern for Hang Seng Tech. But before that, let's look at this trend line here price has been very much supported near to this trend line as well as an immediate support that comes from here so this would be that immediate support in this case with today's gap up as long as price can stay above this level here which is the previous high okay that's about 4166 or maybe just round it off a little bit 4170 as long as price can stay above 4170 i think that there should be continued momentum for the hs tech to continue to move up of course there is a need to clear the resistance zone here starting from 4280 and of course ultimately at this high here which is 4360 so two resistance level to remember first would be about 4280 so that's the immediate resistance and lastly the one that determines the breakout of Hang Seng Tech would be really around 4350 this would be the high point here I think that uh, we should monitor for at the end of the day whether the market is is buying this piece of news okay so to know whether the market is buying this piece of news we have to see that price stay supported which means for Hang Seng Tech it would be price must stay above 4170 which is this level here okay 4170 for HSI it would be around 19,000 that means price needs to stay above 19,000 right which is this high here in order to you know show that commitment that whatever that Polyburo said, the market believes. Okay, I think the key thing is that the market must buy the whole story that's being laid out in this piece of news. How about you? Let me know whether you think that the Hang Seng Index or the Hang Seng Tech will stay supported or it won't stay supported or whether you are bullish or bearish about the two indexes. Alright, I come to the end of my session here and hope that you enjoy this analysis. If you have other topics that you want me to cover too, let me know. And if you can, remember to click the subscribe button and the like button because then you receive updated information from this channel.